Good afternoon! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you Ginataang Munggo with my own twist. And I'm going to pick up some runner beans and also I'm going to pick up some uh, butternut leaves. And also I'm going to pick up some tomatoes with it. So come and join me and pick up some runner beans. And I know you will enjoy it. Yesterday I just harvested some here and look how the fast they have grown and it's really a, a good crop this year and I'll show you the flowers are still coming and little uh, runner beans are there look at that so I'll continue picking and I will also show you how to, to pick up some uh, butternut squash leaves it's over on the other side so this is what I harvested look the amount of it I will boil some because my husband will not eat mongo so I will half it and boil the rest so let's go now in the uh, butternut uh, squash leaves So let's go to the butternut squash leaves there. This uh, butternut squash is a bit late so I'm going to uh, pick up the leaves and as well as the little fruit because it's going to be winter soon and it's not going to survive in that weather. So let's go and pick. I'll show you the spider here. We have loads of spider here by the way. Everywhere is a spider, even the house. There are some little ones. Look at that. But spiders are good. That's why I'm not destroying their house. So I'll go the other side and cut the leaves. I also going to pick up some flowers. That one, look. And this one. Because they are also edible. They are family of squash. Uh, and this one I was talking to you about. The little fruit. They are not going to survive in the winter. So I picked them up. Because is it will be wasted right and these are the leaves right so let's go and continue picking the other day i removed some uh, leaves because they have like uh, fungus and because it's uh, getting colder now so that is the sign that this butternut squash will not last so I pick all the leaves. So this is the way how you wash these leaves. I take this off. Break it in two or cut it to two and it will be fine. Mm. So plenty of leaves. So these are the butternut squash leaves and the little tiny fruit and the flowers. And I will put them all in the mongo beans. Alright, so let's wash now the runner beans. One tomato, another tomato, so 
So I'll pick up some onion. Just one will do. And the tomatoes. Now we peel the onion. And also I'm going to put garlic. Look at these fresh onions. This is from the garden as well. Look at that. So I will add some uh, garlic, three to four cloves. But this garlic is not from my garden, it's from supermarket. So it's plenty. Normally other people don't put tomatoes in the ginataan, but I would like to put some tomatoes. So I think that's not a problem. Now we cut our runner beans. Look at I just slice like this. And, and because they are so tender, there is no hard bit on these edges. So I just slice this one. So this is the amount I will add in the mango beans. I think this is enough. So let's start cooking. So the mungo beans is cooked, separate that one, now we're going to fry onions. Little bit of olive oil. And, uh, then I add the tomatoes. runner beans. I put the bean first because it takes a while to cook and now I will put also the small uh, butternut squash. I will cut into half. It's very tender, very soft and brittle. Mm. And now we add the leaves. It's quite a lot here, but I will not worry because they will be shrink. And the flower. quite a lot here and this leaf should separate like that okay 
So now I'm going to put my coconut milk. So I will put now the coconut milk. Oh, I don't have fresh coconut. Or in the UK, there is no fresh coconut. Uh, or there, was, there is, but it's a uh, don't have a grater. There you go. Came watery, but it doesn't matter. Cover it and cook for more five minutes. So our ginataang mungo with butternut leaves and runner beans is cooked. And it's time to eat. So this is our tea, we have sausages, boiled potato, boiled runner beans, and my ginisang, uh, no, ginataang mungo. Okay, so bon appetit!